Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's not good morning, actually, is it? It's good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. But I just can't change my show to afternoon musings. We're just going to keep up morning musings. So good morning somewhere in the world. Good morning to you. And uh, good afternoon in my neck of the woods, which is the east coast of the United States. It is 1 p.m. here. Um, so glad to be here. It was really nice to be able to go to church this morning. Um, so uh, I think I'm going to like this uh, time change here. But as you know, the first things I always do is I first like myself. So if you haven't liked Liked my stream, go to the Twixverse and the Threadosphere. So let's get that going. And let me add my Twitch account here in case anybody wants to go over there and watch. Hmm. There we go. So I have this posted in Twix. Let's close that. Let's close this. Let me go over to the threadosphere or threads as most people call it. And I will post my stream there. So we are good with those. Everything is looking good. Let me check over here and turn my uh, emote only off on my Twitch so that if anybody comes over and deems uh, has the desire to chat, they can. Um, if you guys don't know about Twitch, um, their comments, uh, their ch that channel is open 24-7. So people can leave comments all the time and they're unmoderated because I can't have somebody over there all the time. So to keep uh, people from posting bad stuff um i take it where they can only do emotes so some of the emotes might not be um great but they're better than horrible things that people can actually type so that's why i have to do that every time on that uh platform so let's come over here and let's see we have stunning and brave megatron who is first yay and uh dad man's like oi and, but dad man was the first like here. Mm, okay. And he says, howdy, missus. Love you. Have a wonderful stream. Uh, Emily says, hey, hello, Emily Gangding, Sammy. And the new, the new puppy who I cannot remember the, its name. Oh, gosh, she told us last night. I can't remember. But uh, congratulations on a new puppy and a new friend for Sammy. Um, and uh, we have a uh, Seribot that has joined over on Twitch and stream elements uh and stunning says it's 11 a.m where he's at so it's good it's still good morning there excellent excellent atwood says what's up y'all we're starting to show we're going to do a puzzle uh and emily asked if we saw pictures of finley finley the new doggy no we have not i will actually check it out after the show so it's on your community tab. Excellent. Um, so let's see. And it's Admiral Teague. Hello, Admiral Teague. I hope you're doing well this morning. And that one says, I'm so freaking excited for Tuesday that I can hardly contain my excitement. So if I seem a little more energetic uh, than usual, then it's because I'm so excited for Tuesday. Uh, something big is happening in Destiny 2 on Tuesday, I believe. So, okie doke. Um, uh, um, Admiral Teague says hello to Stream Elements, LOL. Uh, Mrs. A is signing in on behalf of Mr. A, who gives everyone greetings. Hello, Mrs. A. I'm so glad you're here. Um, and I hope Mr. A feels better soon. Um, and we have some hellos. So it is now time for me just to do a little bit of promotion here at the beginning. We have Team Park Streamers. Uh, they're raising money for the Children's Hospital of Orange County. They actually started off with uh, a $500 goal. 
which they uh, reached, and then they changed it to a $1,000 goal, which they reached, and then they changed it to a $3,000 goal, which they reached, and now their goal is $5,000. Sarah, the last time I looked, I think they were like at over 3,200. They might be more now. So uh, I see them reaching their 5,000 goal before the event, which is in July, July 9th. July 20. It's in the later part of July. So if you can support them financially, that's wonderful. If you can't, if you could take that link that's on the stream and uh, share it to others uh, to uh, raise awareness of uh, this uh, fundraiser. So yes. And we also have tomorrow at 1 p.m. I am going to do my Sakura house build. Uh, and uh, I'm really looking uh, looking forward to doing this. It is 3,000 pieces, so I know it's going to take me um, a couple days to do this. So um, come visit and watch me do this. And Atwood says that something is returning in Destiny 2 after five years, and it's going to be very nostalgic for me, and I get to show Mrs. for the first time. Ah! I'm, I'm very excited. I am a, a fairly new Destiny 2 player, so... It's really neat to uh, learn some of the lore and history of it. So uh, Teague says, grateful to the people who have joined my channel. It is a surprise, but a welcome one to be sure. If anyone here has ever watched my show or joined, thanks. It's encouraging after a tough week. Well, I'm glad that uh, we can be encouraging. And we have Rena L. Uh, Rennie L, I believe. Um, I do not know if I have um, ever met you on this stream. So welcome. I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, we do this show seven days a week. Sunday is the only day that we do it at 1 p.m. We usually do this show at 10 a.m. On the weekends and on Wednesdays, we do a puzzle. And on Monday, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, we do birthday celebrations. So I'm glad you're here and I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, you've met over at Miss Martin Muses. Well, welcome and thank you for uh, stopping over here. So now it is time for us, Rennie. Oh, well, you are welcome. I usually mispronounce names. I usually mispronounce names. So I'm so happy that I got it right. Oh, and you got, oh, you got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Abba just recently got a new job, so his schedule is kind of all wonky everywhere. But he got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off, so you can watch the build and two days to show the mission off. Well, very, very cool. I cannot wait for that. Um, so let's go and get on with our uh, puzzle. Uh, I Let me remove this stuff here so you guys can see it a little bit better. Get all do all the uh, the logistics of the show. So here we go, and then we're going to move this here. Um, this is puzzle is called Duo Trigordal. If you've ever played Wordle, uh, where you have to guess uh, a word, uh, a five letter word, and so many guesses, uh, this is like that, but on, on steroids. We have thirty two. Uh, words that we have to guess and doing it in this in the daily sequence is the best way to do it with a group of people because you guys can help me figure out the words uh, they do one word at a time and then they reveal the next one but all the guesses all coincide with the um the all the words i'll explain as we go so here we have our first word you see here we have this is the these will turn green as we get the words correct this is our keyboard when they're this color with the white letter keys, that means they're letters that are available for the uh, word that we're doing at the moment. If they are uh, light, you'll see in a moment, those means that they, that they are not available. If they are yellow, whoops. If they are yellow, like the A here, that means it's in the word, but not in the correct spot. So it's not in the first spot. And you see these light ones, the E, D, you and I are not in this word. But if we do the next word, they might be. 
So you just kind of have to look at the keyboard for each word. So we have an A. I like to try to get the um, O also um, used. So since we really don't know. Um, Oh, gosh. Chucky is back, everybody. Chucky says, um, he is so excited that I want to off him, but he deals with me, so I'm trying my best to let him be excited. He, he, he. Yes. Chucky, be patient with that one. He's very excited about what's what's coming up in Fortnite. So I'm going to try the word boats. Because it uses some letters that, um, you know, I want to just check and have them at least for the other words also. So boats. So it's not boats, but there is an A that is in the third spot. And then we have an S and a T, which are not in the third and fourth spots. <laughs> Dad man says I might and you better deal with it Chucky especially with all the crap you give me Dad man said do it to Agent Atwood and Dad man said okay time for the reminder please make sure to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel to help me to monetization yes I'm trying to get the channel monetize monetize the, 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 monetize um, and uh, so that I can uh Make this a self-sufficient a uh, hobby. Um, I enjoy doing it. So, so let's see if we can figure out this word. There is an S and a T. So I'm just going to assume. Um, if you guys have any words, um, stank. It could be stank. Let's try stank. Stunning gets these very, very um, interesting words. So stank what could could be. It's not. But uh, the um, S is at the beginning and the T is at the end. Can't be start because there, we now have figured out that there is a T that is not in the second or fourth spot. So it has to be at the end. So it's S blank A blank T. No, it can't be skank. There's a T at the last in space five. Smart. Good. Let's try that one. S-M-A-R-T. Smart. Ugh, it's not smart. But we now know for sure that T's at the end. If you look up here, you don't want to close work it tonight, Agent Atwood. I understand. I Closing stinks, but it's sometimes you have to do it. If you look up here at this spot right here, this is how many guesses we've done. And we have a total of 39. They gave us, um, I think, six. Oh, no, don't be sorry. It's a, it's a good guess. At this point, we're just kind of trying to figure out the word. Um, and, and basically, this is what you have to do until um, we get this one figured out. Hopefully, it doesn't take us too long. Shaft. Shaft was the word. So, shaft is the word. Sorry. So, um, you can see the, the one is green. So, that means we're on the second word. If you notice... The, what letters are are um, yellow now were gray before. So this letter has an E in the fourth spot. And there's an R, a D, and a U that are in this. Thank you, Teague. Thank you so much. Have a good, uh, good, I uh, hope you enjoy uh, the service. Um. So let's figure out this word. There's a U in it. And I was thinking maybe under, but there's no N because you can see the N is gray. 
So I'm going to let you guys see if you can figure it out. I'm going to, during the, in between the breaks of these, I talk about different celebrations. So the first celebration we're going to talk about is Geologist Day. And I get my information from three sites, uh, Days of the Year, National Today, and NationalDayCalendar.com. <gasps> that could be it, Rennie. Let's see. I'm going to read this and then we'll check it out. Geologist Day from National Today. Finally, a day dedicated to a woefully underrated science. Without geologists, we would know nothing about the history of the earth. The ground we walk on is ever-changing and always moving. Who can tell us that for certain? Geologists. Geology is the science that studies the materials, natural features, and processes found on the earth. It also studies the history of all the life that's ever lived from the time of the dinosaurs till today. Pretty incredible, right? The first geologist day was established by scientists in the former Soviet Union in April of 1966. It can't be utter because the second letter can't be D. Darn. So it cannot be utter. Because if you look here, that man was right. That D there, it will, it will not be correct. If I typed it in, it's going to be yellow. As soon as I type that D in, that yellow says, nope, can't do that. I'm glad this gives me some um, hints like that. Hmm. Huh. It could end with E-D. Um, but you, now remember, Y can also be a vowel. There's no N. There's no N. Pure, puree, or pures. No, no it can't be pures because there's no S. Um, and we need a D. It needs to have a D in it. Well, let's try that. It's a word. And it's close to what Atwood said. And then if it's not it, we'll try cured. Dead man's yelling, cured, cured. Everyone's saying, I'm going to try this word. Uh, it's, it wouldn't have even be cured. Because the U and R are not there, but there is an ED. Oh my gosh. The UR doesn't go there, so cured would not have even been it. Um, so it ends in ED. The R is not in the third spot and the U is not in the second. Urged. I'm wondering if it's urged. You guys want me to try that? Oh, it could be ruled also. No, it cannot be ruled because you cannot be in the second spot. So let's try urged. You think so? I'm going to go for it. It was urged. Urged. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We've got only two more. Uh, we have two more free guesses, and then the rest we have to all get right. So, hopefully. So, we have an S, and then there's an O and an N that go somewhere else. We're only in on the, oh, my gosh, only on the third word, everybody, and we've already done seven guesses. Goodness gracious, today is National No Housework Day. <laughs> Every day in my house is No Housework Day. <laughs> National Day Calendar says, no, National No Housework Day directs us to put down the cleaning solution and toss aside the laundry. Take a break from the sweeping, dusting, and dishes. Dusting? What's dusting? I never dust. Dirty windows? They will wait one more day. The vacuum will remain banished to the closet. And mopping? Well, tomorrow it's a date. While we don't have to overlook the obvious necessary sanitary needs, we can leave a few dishes in the sink for the day. If the toys are scattered, leave them. Books cluttered, 
the table, that can stay too. Those chores you dread the most, postponed for 24 hours. All general spring cleaning is delayed too. Have closets been calling your name and begging, clean me? Ignore those voices. Do your cupboards need organization? Hit the pause button on those too. All regularly scheduled housework resumes on April 8th. And Dad Man says, darn, and today we're going to clean the living room, LOL. Oh, he's going to, uh, okay, well, we'll see you over there. Uh, he's going to go to purple. Purple is our uh, code for another uh, site, which I'll say as soon as he pops up. There's certain people here. I'll pull it up on my TV and watch YouTube on here. Oh, cool. So, and it's also metric system day. Yes, we should have the metric system. This imperial system is stinky. Days of the year. The metric system day is an annual celebration of a nearly universal system of measurement. This system uses standardized units like meters, kilograms, and liters. In most of the world, the metric system is the global standard. It's perfect for simplifying and unifying measurements across the world. However, a few countries, the United States, Liber Li Liberia, and Miramar still hold out and use the alternate measuring system. The largest countries that don't use it are, as I said before, United States, Liberia, and Mir My 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 Myanmar, Miramar, Myanmar, I don't know. But anyway, yes, it's metric census day. Yes, uh, so uh, just so you can see, he is on I say from the Twitch side. We have Atwood saying, "What's up? What's up, Atwood?" Uh, let's see. Yes, we only have two extra, two extra left. Um, Sonly, Sonly, S O whoop S whoops. Let me find it. S O N. Nope, it can't be. It can't be S O S S. There has to be a oh it, oh I have an idea oh it's not a good day for Mister A he is O C D in his cleaning. <laughs> Well, if he doesn't want to celebrate the day, he does not have to. <laughs> he can he can clean. He is more than welcome to. I am not going to stop anyone from that. It is International Snail Paper Day. National Day says, what exactly are snail paper papers? It's another term for newspapers. The name comes from the fact that in the age of digital news and social media, they end up reporting news very late by comparison. But still, newspapers remain popular a popular way to consume news for many people. This day is to honor the newspapers and the people who work hard every day to ensure we get the news. And hello, Sci-Fi Mommy. Does this have to have two S's? It can have double letters. Um, or it can have double letters. It could have five S's if it was a word. So, does anybody have an idea? I have an idea. I think I'm going to give you a clue. I think that, whoops, I think that is the next letter. So, does anyone have an idea? We have a bunch of hellos. Hello, Sci-Fi Mommy. I think I already said hello to you, but I'll say hello again. I hope you are doing fine this wonderful morning afternoon uh, depending on where you're at we've been in the show for 24 minutes it's uh, 1 at 24 in my neck of the woods which is the east coast of the united states it could be swoon or snowy i don't know if i gotta see if that's i don't think that's a word that's a, oh my gosh it could also be that word i don't think it's that word Oh, gosh, swoon or snowy. Oh, which one do we want to try? Uh, I don't know which one to try. I think I'm... 
Renny, I'm going to let you pick which one do you want us to use, Swoon or Snowy, since you picked both of them. Which one do you think? I'm going to wait until you, to you, if, if you have a, a, an answer. I believe Snowy has the highest chance. Yes, swoon is a word. It means to kind of faint. <laughs> I'm swooning. No, no, I think one of those is right. Okay. I think, I think, um, I think I'm going to go with Snowy. Because I, whoops. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to hit the enter button. It was snowy. Thank you, Reddy. I would have said swoon. That was the word I had, obviously, uh, because, um, yes, yeah, swoon is what I do when dad man's around. Um, so, yay. So the next word has a T at the four space and a W, D, H, and I are the other letters. So, ah, oh, stunning. Hush. <laughs> You're so silly. Ready swoons for my hubby. Uh, or how like Chucky does for Tiffany, yes. Chucky's got a thing for Tiffany, I say. She is a pretty cute doll, though. We have National Coffee Cake Day. National Day calendar says, National Coffee C Cake Day gives us a reason uh, to linger over a cup of joe. We can also break out some of our favorite recipes and deliver a heartwarming home-baked item to a friend or two. As many bakers know, coffee cake takes very little time to make and brings a lot of satisfaction to both the baker and the receiver. The coffee cake itself does not contain any coffee. They are usually single layer cakes made in a square, rectangle, or ring shaped pans. Uh, coffee cakes are often flavored with cinnamon and other spices, seeds, nuts, and fruits, such as blueberries and apples. Mm -mm. Typically, they have a crumb topping or a glaze drizzle. So, yes, National Coffee Cake Day. So, wit, wit. Yes, uh, a uh, lot of Chucky doesn't swoon, but we all swoon. Yes, swooning is a wonderful thing to to have someone you can swoon over. I agree totally. So width, width. This one has a S A U in the first and second spots, an E in the fourth, and an R and a P uh, that are left. Yes, Chucky is a little jelly and embarrassed. Yes. I re I re agree with you, Renny. We are lucky gals. Lucky gals. So does anyone have an idea what this one is? Yes, super, super, super duper. Let me spell it correctly. S-U-P-E-R, super. That is correct. And then we have a P. Uh, at the beginning, an N in the fourth, and then all we have is an E. Remember, we can duplicate letters. Chucky says, Ugh, you're already on thin ice, Atwood. Don't let it melt away completely. This one I'm not really sure about. I've got a couple ideas. I've got a couple ideas and they involve double letters. You can redo letters on this. It's a National Schwa Day. Uh, yes, Schwa Day. S-C-H-W-A. And this is from Days of the Year. Whether a native English speaker or one who has learned it as a second language, this is a great time to celebrate the most commonly used sound in the English language. The schwa is a reduced vowel sound that occurs in unstressed syllables, something like an uh sound you ha that hardly even requires the mouth to be open. The schwa sound can be represented by each of the five vowels in English. For example, the A 
uh, the sound around makes the schwa sound, but it can even be represented by the E in the word chicken. Uh, the I, possible, O, mother, at U, stadium. It's rather a versatile sound, and because of its function and versatility, it's obvious that the sound needs to be featured and celebrated with its own event. So, yes. So, uh, penne, penne, that is the word I am going to try because uh, we have a lot of people that are suggesting it. So, let's hope it is it. It was penne. Yay! And then we have a blank, an O and N, and then there's a place where an A and a T need to go. Uh, the T is not in the last two spots, four and five. And the A is not in the first spot. So, oh, now you want pasta. Mm. So Chucky, Chucky said peel with a period at the end. Uh, yeah, good. <laughs> good guess, Chucky. Uh, Reddy now wants pasta. Dadman says tonal. T O N A L. T O N A L. That's a good work. Good guess. Let's see if it's correct. It was tonal. Period T yes. Mmm, <laughs> you have a wonderful are you going to oh for the pasta. Time for Olive Garden, some fettuccine, Alfredo, and breadsticks. Mmm. You know what I like at the Olive Garden? I like to get the unlimited salad. Uh and uh, well, I don't get the salad. I usually get the uh, breadsticks and soup. And I love their um Noki, chicken noki soup. Oh, I just eat that. I eat bowl after bowl of that. That's all I get. So this one has an M, an E N in the second and third, and then an M, I, and D. Chucky says, I don't like uh, too much lettuce and I hate lettuce. Um, I don't go there for the salad. I go there for the soup, Chucky. So I kind of, I agree with you on that one with that. Dama says, me too, uh, to Olive Garden. We just had barbecue. Maybe tonight, Mrs. LOL. <laughs> and AJ would agrees on the lettuce. And Rennie is playing the game uh, and has said denim, which I believe that is the word. D-E-N-I-M. It is denim. And then we have a blank, blank, P-E-L. Um, so we don't know what the first two letters are. Remember, you can repeat letters. Uh, it is make the first move day. This day arose from the initiative to combat the bullying pandemic. Bullying still is still a prevalent issue to many students that many students face today. The purpose of this day is to raise awareness about bullying and its consequences, as well as to honor its victims. As an all-inclusive holiday, it honors and remembers the victims and survivors of bullying. So make the first move. Stand up against bullying. If you know someone who is a bully, try to stop them. If, if, if you can't, don't support them. I, I, that's all you can do. And, and and show support for those who are being bullied. Because a lot of times they get isolated. And when people are afraid to um, 
support them for fear of becoming uh, the target, uh, it gets very, very hard. Yes, Chucky, but it's a bad stick to have. Bullying is a bad stick to have. Don't have it. Change. Change, bully. Change, Chucky. I know you can. So, yes, support those. And, you know, bullying is just not in schools. Um, adults can be bullies, and we need to stand up to them also. Sorry, my little spiel on bullying. Expel is correct. We have an OW in the third and fourth spot and an N and an L that we don't know where they go. I think I know what this word is. I think Dad Man sang a song about him last night. Yes, yes, Rennie. It, yes, it can be. Yes, some women who bully by playing the victim. Yes, classic narcissism. It's 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 just a it's just a bad thing. It's a bad thing, and we got to stand up against those that are being uh, that are the victims. I agree totally. So, does anyone have an idea what this is? Dad man, come on, you need to know what this one is. You sang a song. Yes, stunning clown. Um, Dad man sang a song last night on karaoke, uh, the theme song to Killer Clowns from Outer Space. If you, I never even knew they had, like he said, he was surprised that they had a karaoke version. Um, and he sings it over at uh, Rambling Canucks on Saturdays and also. Um, on Jedi Bills, he sings karaoke. So on Saturday night, if you want to go have some fun, um, go over there and, and check out their uh, um, karaoke. I agree, Renny. Just treat people how you want to be treated. Um, it's that simple. It's that simple. Kindness, kindness never it kindness is never wrong so this one is probably one of stunning's words that he would love it starts with a b e it ends with an h and there's an l and c uh, in it and chucky you know a couple of clowns okay you're silly belch belch yes I know it's not fart, but uh, it's close. I have gone over to um, a couple of her shows, and I really, really enjoy them. Uh, very level-headed. Um, I love um, that when she, especially when she talks about movies that ha might have a little... Um, I hate using the word controversy, controversy, but I will use that. You know, uh, there's a lot of, of talk about them and, and she does very good level headed, uh, reviews of the movies. And she talks about the good stuff in the movies and she talks about the bad stuffs in the movies and she talks, you know, uh, you know, she, she talks about all of it. And, uh, and if, if they're valid criticisms, she gives them. But if she doesn't see those criticisms there, she doesn't. Um, and I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed her movie reviews. Lucid, lucid, yes, lucid. This one has uh, an H and an M. We don't know where it's at. A U at the second and an S in the fifth. So, uh, Dad Man, if you can get her channel link, go ahead and put uh, uh, Teresa's channel link in there. Bye, Chucky. Oh, your next season of your show is coming on Wednesday? Well, yeah, you got to rest for that. So I will see you. I will see you soon, I'm sure. Uh, bye. Um, but, yes, I – um. and Dad Man's been on, on the channel, and she's been on Dad Man's channel, too. She's a very, very gracious woman, very, very – um, National Beer Days today. 
Um, yesterday was a, a National Beer Beer Day, Beer Eve, and this was celebrate in celebration of today, which is National Beer Day. Okay, Atwood, I'll see you in a second. And National Day calendar says it recognizes the world's most widely consumed alcohol beverage, following water and tea. It is the third most popular drink overall. It's one of the world's oldest prepared be beverages. Beer possibly dates, dates back to 9,500 9, B.C. when cereal was first farmed. It is also recorded in the written history of ancient Iraq and ancient Egypt. Perhaps there's a porter or a Belgian in your glass. Whether yours is fermented or not, dark or pale, hoppy, bitter, smooth, raise your mug. Lift it high among friends around the world, thinking, uh, thanking those who work brewing delicious beer in your local area. And besides, beer lovers have more selection than ever. The craft beer industry continues to challenge the classics, providing a wide variety of choices. Thanks to the opportunities, new beer drinkers are joining the club every day. And today is also the day that prohibition was repealed in the United States. And uh, that is also a reason to celebrate. So, yes. Does anyone have any idea? Yes, Mr. Angel, I believe you are correct. Hummus. Hummus. And then we have an MK. We don't know where they go with an IL in the second and third and a Y in the fifth. Um, and yes, there is a Miss Martin Muse's uh, channel um, in the chat. So please um, go over there and subscribe to her channel. And, it, and I don't know if she does advanced uh, scheduling, but look and see what she's going to do if she has anything scheduled and uh, hit that notification button so you don't miss it. Milky, milky, milky. Yes. And then we have an O. That we don't know where it goes. An N-I in the second, third, and an N in the fifth. We're not, uh, that's so funny. A lot of them, are, they, we have the second, third letter, and the fifth letter. Okay, this one. Uh, I'm just so afraid to say it. But I'm going to say it anyway. Today is International Beaver Day. Beavers are very important for the environment. They create natural dams and help cleanse water. They help raise awareness uh, to help raise awareness about the threats facing their declining species. This day was started. The beaver may be the national animal of Canada, but the furry dam building rodent can be found across North America continent and Eurasia as two distinct species. But the population has been on the decline for several decades now. International Beaver Day aims to celebrate and raise awareness of the plight of the rodent. So now is the time to get ready and enjoy, enjoy the ob observance of International Beaver Day. I say no more. As uh, we have Dad Man, as we have Remy laughing, hee 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 hee, Dad Man the Beavers go Oregon State, which is that's their mascot. And Remy's like, oh no, oh no, yes. <laughs> On that note, do we have any idea what this word is? Yes, you said furry and dam back to back. That sounded interesting. I know, I know. I was trying to root out all the. Uh, double entendres, but uh, you just can't. So I just went with it. Onion, O-N-I-O-N, -O -N, onion. Then this one, we have one letter, so I just go ahead and type it in. Spiel, this one has also one letter, so I will type that one in as well. Owner, this one has all the letters, guest, humor. This one has a C in the first, a D in the third, a Y at the end. And there is an A that needs to go somewhere. It is Public Television Day uh, from National Today. Um, on this day in 1927, the company AT&T transmitted the first successful long-distance public broadcast of television. It was an image of Herbert Hoover, Secretary of Commerce, and was transmitted from Washington, D.C. to New York City. While the first long-distance public broadcast of television was on April 7, 1927, it wasn't until 1941 that the U.S. first public television 
KUHT was founded by Dr. John W. Meany and went on to air for the first time on May 25th in 1953 from the campus of the University of Houston. That year, the FCC, or Federal Communications Commission, reserved almost 250 broadcast frequencies for educational TV stations, uh, though by 1960, only 44 of them had begun operations. So, Public Television Day. Very cool. Caddy, Caddy. Is it Caddy? I think it's Caddy. It is Caddy. And then we have Conch. And then we have... Oh, a saute. Saute. What a nice word. And we have roped. We only have one letter left for that. Uh, this one has only one letter left. Piano. This one has a, a T, an R, an O in the first three spots, an L in the fifth. What could be that fourth letter? As I read the last celebration we have today. From days of the year, we have World Health Day. Listen to the World Health Organization and begin taking steps to improve your health. Join a gym, start taking vitamins, or go outside on World Health Day. World Health Day is celebrated every year on the anniversary of the founding of the World Health Organization. It is a day to focus on and raise awareness around health issues that affect people over all of the globe. So, World Health Day. So, that is all our celebrations. And we are going to... Welcome back, Atwood. Uh, so, we are going to go ahead and finish all these. I think they're going to be fairly easy to do. So, we have troll. We have all the letters for troke. We have D-E-B-A-R, debar. Oh, you just, oh, the word troll just made you, uh, made Atwood think of the awful movie sequel, Troll 2. Oh my, oh my God. See, I thought you said, oh my good. Oh my good. Oh my, oh. not, not happy. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to think about it. But, banal. This one has phase. Excuse me. This one has gaunt. The G is the only letter left. And this one has L-O-O. -O, and then there's the P that's yellow, loopy. This has S-L-U-N-G. This is where they get fairly easier uh, near the end because, like I said, all of them are already pretty much solved for you. So claim. We have solved the puzzle. We have a green screen. Woo! Uh, the words we have are shaft, urge, snowy whip, super, penne, tonal, denim, expel, clown. Belch, Lucid, Hummus, Milky, Onion, Spiel, Owner, Humor, Caddy, Conch, Saute, Roped, Piano, Troll, Choke, Debar, Banal, Phase, Gaunt, Loopy, Slung, and Claim. So, we solved this puzzle and we are only 48 minutes into our show. Wow. That was a fairly, uh, the beginning, I wasn't sure if it was going to be, um, that easy. I was a little worried, but we did get that puzzle. So there we go for that. Uh, let's see. We have Jerry Mendoza. Hello. Booyah. And, uh, it's the most well-known line from the entire, it's the most well-known line from the entire uh, lines from that film. There's a guy who just screams, oh my God, through the whole movie. <laughs> okay. Troll 2. Woohoo! We did it. You really did it, Mrs. Since you entered all the words, but woohoo. Yes. <laughs> and we have hello, and we have hello, and Stunning got waffles. Yum. I like waffles. I, did, I didn't think we completed it after that start. I was really afraid there for a second. And yes, dang, now I want waffles. Mm, waffles are really, really good. So it is um, 49 minutes into the show. One forty-nine in my neck, which we have 12 people watching. Well, thank you guys very much for that. Uh, let's see um, how we are doing. 
We have nine people watching. We have 10 likes. Thank you so much for that. And over on Twitch, let's watch. We have three viewers. Come on, quit being a booger. Give me one second. Let me go back to my channel. And da -de -da, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, there we go. I hit the wrong button. There's, there we are. Okay, and we have three people over on Twitch. That is so cool. Thank you guys there. Well, pretty much, um, it's a wonderful Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm so glad you guys uh, have uh, come to, to share the afternoon with me. Um, on uh, it's it's a little different change. <laughs> well, dang it, stunning! Now you got me thinking of the waffles episode from Teen Titans Goes Waffles, Waffles, Waffles. Uh, it's not as weird as Captain Underpants. Oh, we're not done yet. We've got memes. Memes are coming. Yes, they are coming. Uh, usually we uh, don't start the memes till about an hour into the show, but we're not too bad. We're we're pretty much um, on task. But I just I appreciate you guys all coming to hang out with me at uh, in the afternoon on a Sunday. So here we go. It is our memes. It is time for something memeingful. Can we guess what they're about? They are newspaper headlines. A Utah paper boy headbutted, tackled, and trapped in a tree by a goat named Voldemort. <laughs> These are real, um, real headlines. They're either, um, unfortunately, some of them are digital headlines and not actual newspaper print headlines, but they're headlines nonetheless. Big red carrying fruit crashes on 210 freeway, creates a jam. <laughs> Oh. oh, goodness. I've been posting my letters in the dog poo box for two years. Alf, 91, confuses disposal bin for nearby post box. Oh, my goodness. I can kind of see if you're a little, if you're just looking for something red and your uh, your vision is not the best. I could see confusing those two. Maybe they should change the color of the poo box to yellow or something. Poor guy. Poor whoever got that mail. <laughs> oh, yes. I so feel for him because, oh. I could see how that could happen. Teen burglar kills goldfish because he didn't want to leave any witnesses, cop says. Teen burglar stupid. <laughs> Man buys penis enlarger, gets magnifying glass instead. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think, is my favorite. I think this is one of my favorite headlines. <laughs> Exactly, Jerry. That's what's so like they're, they're so stupid. Oh, hey, Penny, you just put your grandson down for a nap. Welcome here. Oh, stunning. That guy must have seen the goldfish episode from South Park. <laughs> I'm sorry, this headline. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's dwarf porn double found dead in a ba badger den in Wells. I actually had to research this a little bit. There actually is a porn star who is a dwarf that looks like 
Gordon Ramsay. And he did die in a badger den, an actual badger den in Wells. <laughs> but I thought, this can't, this can't be true, but yes, it was. That's just a bizarre headline. Just 15 people are watching. Thank you guys so much, both on the YouTube and Twitch side. I kicked burning terrorists so hard in balls that I tore a tendon in my foot. <laughs> a very, very specific headline. <laughs> oh, we don't need to read the story now, do we? We pretty much get it all in the um, in the uh, headline there. <laughs> I just okay. <laughs> Can go, okay, look at the one on the right. Congratulations, Jordan Brownridge, for pleasing 15 women for an entire day. We were all exhausted and very satisfied, and we look forward to next year. We all thank you. The next day, our sincere apology to Dr. to George Brownriff and staff. Our intentions were to thank him for a generous holiday shopping trip, which he arranged. This annual tradition is much appreciated, and it, any inappropriate innuendos were unintentional and would take full responsibility for the ad that appeared in yesterday's paper. No, they knew exactly what they're doing. They knew exactly what that ad meant. But I think it's hilarious. <coughs> They had to be some of the dumbest women if they didn't get the, the innuendo in that. I think it's cute. I think it's sad that they had to post an apology. <laughs> I think they should have done one the next day that said um, something to like all the readers. We were talking about a shopping trip. You guys got filthy minds. Woman finds a hat in a tree. A hat that has been found up in a hat has been found up a tree in Bilton. A woolen the woolen head garment, which is red and has a bobble, was discovered on Tuesday by Bilton Lane resident Sharon Bromance, 43. I could hardly believe my eyes when I saw it up there, she said. I got it down with a stick and put it on a fence post. The owner now has until April 10th to reclaim the hat, after which it will be destroyed. Yes, they should have said, sorry, not sorry, you filthy animals, filthy minds that you have. Hey. Woman finds rock in road, moves to, moves to ditch. News at 11. Woman in sumo wrestling suit. Woman in sumo wrestler suit assaulted her ex-girlfriend in a gay pub after she waved at man dressed as a Snickers bar. <laughs> yes, Nordopoupus is not here because at 1 p.m. he has a Burr family uh, gaming day. So uh, we, uh, well, we miss him on uh, Sundays today, but I am so happy that he is spending time with his family. Yes. WTF, Renny. WTF. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to put these up on the chat. So, yes. They just wanted to get away with it. They should have said, sorry, not sorry. That's the other one. Snort is gaming with the Bears today, Atwood. Um, and, um, yes. WTF. Um. Yeah, I keep forgetting to put these up after the puzzle. I'm just sitting back reading the chat and just enjoying them. Forecast calls for weather on Monday. They're hesitant to protect to predict snowstorms here. We are going to have weather today, followed by more weather and uh, an increase in weather. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. Yes. We will be have we we'll be having weather soon. You should have dressed as a Klondike bar. What would you do for a Klondike bar? I dress up in a sumo wrestler suit and beat up my girlfriend in a pub. That's what I do. <laughs> Parents keep kids home to protest school closure. <laughs> At least they didn't get a nor'easter. I think they were afraid to say what was going to happen. I think that, yeah. Parents, yes. Parents keep 200 elementary school students home from school for an entire day in a parent-organized protest of the district's plans to close the school. Okay. <laughs> That'll show them. Planes forced to land at airports. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> The humanity! They have to land at an airport. You will land in an airport. You will not land in that grassy field. <laughs> you can kind of read a little bit below the headline. There were two planes that were in a restricted area. And they were forcing them to land at an airport. But I think that's just, the headline just is hilarious. Yes, not the airports. <laughs> There's a crowded city. Go land in between the buildings. <laughs> yes, the one where the plane la landed on the road was hilarious. Oh. <laughs> I should look and see if I can find that one because that one really is funny. Uh, yes, time to land in the airport. It is wrong. We're gonna we're gonna go on a little sidetrack here. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to share these. I got two memes here. Air, airplane memes. Since we have an airport thing here, we're going to digress for a second. Just two planes swapping jokes at the airport. <laughs> and this is my favorite one coming up right here. Damn you, Apple Maps. <laughs> Why didn't they force me to land at the airport? Oh, the humanity. <laughs> yeah, who didn't get the memo that landing planes in the building is bad? Oh, Mr. Edge, well, I have to do it. I do not want to do it anymore. Man, they should have forced this plane to land at an airport. <laughs> Landing is overrated anyway. World Bank says poor need more money. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I think the people at the World Bank are the cousins of the, um, of the, uh, People who force the airplanes to land at the airport. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yes. 
kind of why they are poor. <laughs> it's stunning. Says that's how I land my planes in Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> <laughs> City unsure why the sewer smells. Well, um, let's think about that for a second. Whoops. Sorry. My, <laughs> my, my phone heard me say sewer and thought it said something else. <laughs> why could why could that sewer smell? Huh? Hmm. I'm really not sure. <laughs> I just have to keep it up there just for a little bit, just because it's so, like, oh. <laughs> yes, people are dumb. <laughs> Midget Sue's grocer cites belittling remarks. Oh, they could have just used another term there. <laughs> Apparently, it was really bad that they were they were making. Oh, it just kind of you can kind of read the article, and it was not good. But that that headline just they could have chose another word. But bullying, uh, because so, it sounds like they were bullied. But no, I'm sure someone thought it was cute. Porn star sues over rear end collision. cover that but the headlines are from the individual stage a lot of news uh people it's called a, uh they get the news it's called on a wire and then all the stuff they just a the ap and the upi just post this stuff and they take them and then they they re rewrite them and they make their own headlines so even though ap covered it the headline is all whatever paper it was from <laughs> yeah, go dad. The student looks really happy. <laughs> that's that's a little frightening in itself. Yes, it is so wrong. Well, I guess you have upped the age level of dosage of days of daily positivity now. <laughs> the picture doesn't help. Obviously, it was a job at a college or something, but I just, oh, in sports. So, what must be like head coach or something, maybe? Um, so, yes. Yes. The pitcher did not help at all. Alton attorney accidentally sues himself. <laughs> Serves him right. He'll probably lose have to pay himself and the and the court costs of both of them if he was my attorney on anything else i would be getting a new attorney yes i am so proud of you daddy <laughs> yes yes <laughs> oh that headline was so wrong 
That was so wrong. Oh, goodness. Yes, don't hire this attorney. He accidentally sued himself. Unopposed candidate loses race. Unopposed candidates lose races. <laughs> Probably could have been Amber's lawyer. Isn't that headline a conflict of interest? <laughs> oh, it must be very bad to lose a race you're when you're the only one running because Nobody vote. You didn't even vote for yourself. All you had to do was vote for yourself. Uh, and I guess the one of the candidates says, I should have known better. Uh, it was an oversight. Oh, he forgot to vote for himself. Oh, that's so funny. I would at least go in and vote. Your friends, your family didn't even vote for you. That's bad. Close look at dating finds men choose attractive women. Science is confirming what most women know. When given the choice for a mate, men go for the good looks. <laughs> it was Mr. Garrison from South Park getting sued by Mr. Hat. <laughs> so, hey, duh. This is a duh headline. You're going to say, close look at dating finds women choose men with money. <laughs> Sorry, that was stereotypical. That was wrong of me to say. <laughs> That's the dumbest. Dumbest science study. I mean, they did a study on this. Someone got paid money to do this. The attorney probably just tried to subtract what he was owed from the winnings and accidentally put the winnings in his account and what he was owed in the other person's account. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Students cook and serve grandparents. This was at the uh, School of Cannibalism, where bring your grandparents to, to bring your parent grandparents for lunch day. <laughs> Not bring your parents to lunch. <laughs> oh. It was a, on Thursday, a German school hosted the first annual Grandparents' Day. They were invited to a school-wide pancake breakfast. And now we got Eric Cartman. <laughs> yes. Leatherface would love that. And now we've got Eric Cartman. Don't eat the chili. <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> Attention, our ad requesting pole dancers did not require applicants to be of Polish descent. say that. Uh, cooking school of cannibalism. Did I hear that correct? Well, okay. That certainly gives a whole new meaning to the word family dinner. Absolutely. We uh, had, there's a town near us. It's a small town and we would go at, at one of the hand it had, um, 
I don't even remember their name. Uh, John Doe's family mortuary, family a uh, funeral home. And so, okay. Then you drive to the other side of the town, and it had John Doe's family restaurant. No way. No way would I do either one of those. I can't remember their real name, but they belong to each other. They were family-owned businesses. If you see a man in a white dress shirt, orange apron, and what seems to be a mask made of human flesh, please don't eat the food. That is a good, good thing. To, to I would not either. And yes, a strange club that only requires Polish dancers. I just, mm, so, oh, people can be so dumb. Rain, biggest factor in flooding. Everybody, remember that. Rain, rain causes flooding. Okay, as opposed to drought. Uh, an engineering firm studying, let's see what this says. Let's see if we can read it. An engineering firm studying the Tulsium River concludes the amount of rainfall, especially extreme rainfall, is the most important factor in whether flooding will occur. As, uh, as opposed to what? I mean, my gosh, people are getting paid. Paid. I guess snow could be and yes and uh, yes uh no dip sherlock in other news wood burns and yes i guess no but where was this at oh it doesn't say i was looking to see if they had us uh, Vancouver Island. So is that in Canada? Yes, probably. So our Canadian friends. Okay, I guess you could. If you say Florida or Alabama, yeah, I would scream. That's where that's where you was born. Yes. So I guess it could be snow. I guess that's why they say rain. But it's uh, it just looks so okay. I'll give them. I'll give them that. Cows lose. Excuse me. I had to sneeze. Cows lose their jobs as milk prices drop. Okay, so if that makes no sense to me, if milk prices, I guess because they don't want to, it's not worth it for them to milk them. Huh. Poor cows. Yes, exactly. Have cows been getting paid all this time? Exact. I agree totally. So, thankfully, they don't have to calf again, so they have to make milk. Poor cows. Could actually have a break. State population to double by 2040. Babies to blame. Damn babies. If you quit, if you quit being here, our population wouldn't double. I guess we could blame Mr. Angel and, and the aliens. Stunning and the uh, Decepticons. <laughs> Babies. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> Those diabolical babies. Appearing. <laughs> Darn those babies. <laughs> Safe meeting ends in a, safety meeting ends in an accident. Oh my gosh. Stupid teenage whippersnappers. Don't blame me for humanity's stupidity. Stupid teenage whippersnappers. Day without accidents, zero. It says after a safety meeting concluded at the Kermit Community Center recently, officers and EMTs were called to the scene of an accident which involved two men from the safety meeting. Uh, that when the safety meeting ended at 11, the men went to their vehicles. One man uh, was driving a Chevrolet pickup and hit a pedestrian. Um, it was reported that the pedestrian was jaywalking across the street when he was struck by the pickup, which was pulling out onto San Antonio and was on the wrong side of the street. They were both taken, uh, the petitioner was taken to the hospital where he was treated for minor injuries and no charges have been made at this time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, these are so funny how the tables turn. <laughs> yes. Let's see how many more, I didn't realize I had so many of these. Let's see. Okay, we have just a few more left. One armed man applauds the kindness of strangers. Once again, wording. You could have used a different word besides applauds. It's just not thinking. Oh, just not thinking. And that makes that so wrong. Federal agents raid gun shop and find weapons. Oh! That's up right there with airplanes landing in airports and babies raising the population. <laughs> Darn them all! <laughs> how? Yes, how did he applaud? How did he applaud? They could have just used a different word. Fortune telling event canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. Maybe he clasped his, his feet. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Wow, no way. Yes, yes. They find weapons and a gun shop. Oh, the irony of it all. <laughs> Homeless survive winter. Now what? <laughs> Darn those homeless. <laughs> Pizza found at Pizza Hut. Breaking news. Breaking news. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh. Uh. Scientists to kill ducks to see why they're dying. They're dying because you're killing them, scientists. Yes, imagine. And Demi goes, wow, pizza in a pizza hut? Imagine a hut made of pizza. 
Yes, the the, the fish news reporter from Sponge. Breaking news. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes, it's Washington State. We must do this to find out why they're dying. And we also insist that airplanes land at airports. Babies cause the increase in population. And well, I can't remember what the other one was. What was the other one? Homeless. <laughs> what do we do with the homeless after they survive winter? Oh, no. Man says he failed sobriety test because he was kissing on a drunk chick. <laughs> That's not how it works, Mr. 19-year-old man. That is not how it works. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> oh. Yes. Why do you want to? Why do you want to rule this planet? Humans, we're too, yeah, most are too dumb. <laughs> Yes, yes. And okay, that does sound like something stunning and brave Megatron would say, LOL. I believe that that is the, our last headline. Let me check here real quick. No. This is our last headline. I saved the best for last, everybody. You guys ready for this one? 14 million, uh, is that pound, Viagra con man hit with a stiff sentence. <laughs> that stiff sentence, I believe, is going to last for five, oh, 10 years. He better go see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of these are from British um, or people from the uh, United Kingdom uh, newspapers, and their headlines are amazing. They have some amazing headlines. <laughs> but that is the end. That is the end of our uh, our uh, memes today. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I think they were. <laughs> him finding out his sentence was uh, very um, hard on him. <laughs> and yes, that staying power. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed those. They were so much funnier the second time around. <sighs> it's one hour and 28 minutes into the show. It is 2.28 in my neck of the woods, which is the east coast of the United States. And I hope you guys had so much fun with those memes. I forgot how funny they were. Oh, Headlines can be dying from a Viagra <laughs> dying from a Viagra overdose. Finally, something is stiff. <laughs> Guess we know who the big spoon's going to be. <laughs> Guys, I had so much fun today with these memes. Thank you so much for sharing them with me. But it is almost 2.30 over here. Yes. Thank you so much. That's the purpose of, of my shows. All my streams is just to have fun. And when I do my build streams, I have fun. I want gun, I want to start doing some um, either anime kind of reviews or manga reviews. Um, I just have to have time to watch and read or and or read them. I <laughs> don't have a lot of time. So I'm, I'm working to get that in my schedule because I think that would just be fun too. Just whatever I choose to read it might not be something popular. It might be something popular. Um, I've got a very interesting uh, eclectic taste in uh, manga. I have everything from Berserk 
to um, Tokyo Goals, Spy Family, My Hero Academia, Sales at Work, uh, and a lot of the evil society, the evil secret society of cats. So I have a wide variety of manga, which I would love to share. Um, and also I would like to, yes, as that was, and try to get some gameplay in there. I play Fortnite and Destiny, uh, but it's just not enough hours in the day. I have to sleep. Um, yes, the first set of pages in Berserk, whoa. But yes, I, you know, so I have a very eclectic taste um, in, in manga and anime so I would like to maybe share that at some at some point. Um, and there's just a lot of other stuff I'd like to do. I, I agree that uh, we need more positivity. And that's what I want my show to be is just a place where we can come and laugh. And if we want to be stupid, be stupid. And forget a, a little bit about all the crap that's going on around. <laughs> so thank you. That was a long dissertation to say. Thank you for this comment. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope to do more stuff and we can have more fun on the channel. Um, so, uh, yes, Stunning says sleep is overrated uh, uh, to a point. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I need to learn what I need to learn to do. And I think it would be great is to uh, napping. Instead of sleeping a full eight hours, which I don't tend to do anyway, is to take you know, an hour nap, naps during the day. And I think that that would, um, uh, would be kind of a neat thing, but we'll see, we'll see how that works. Uh, so anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I do have my shameless promotions here. First, we're going to talk one more time about the children's hospital of orange County. Uh, they're trying to raise $5,000. They're over 3,500 now, I think. Um, or 32,000, I don't remember. Um, let me look real quick and see um, where where they're at. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, they, they, they're, they, they're at 30, almost $3,300 to their $5,000 goal. So if you can't support them financially, if you could share this link out, that would be wonderful um, to do. Um, there. And tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, on, uh, I'm going to start the Sakura house build. It's over 3,000 bricks. Um, so uh, I'm believing it's going to take me a couple days to do so. I am scheduling Monday and Thursday. If I don't get it done on Thursday, I will do an impromptu build before I do my next build, which is going to be the family, the family, the Friends TV set Lego build. Um, it's a Lego set that was gifted to me by uh, B from O, S from O, and R from O. And I'm really looking forward to doing that one also. That will be in the next week after this one is done. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, really looking forward to getting back into doing uh, build streams on a regular basis. So tomorrow at 1 p.m. we will be doing that. I also, like I said, I do impromptu build streams. You can check out X. And threads for those, my uh, uh, my links, or what what are they called? The, uh, like the at Miss Dadman, my address um, is at, at M Dadman Walking for Twitter and at Mrs. Dadman Walking 55, no punctuation on threads. Uh, that's when I let you know when I am doing those streams. Um, Uh, yes, I did say Chucky's, uh, his show starts his next season on TV is this Wednesday. Um, so yeah, check out my uh, Twitter. I don't do so much on threads. I'm trying to get better um, at that, uh, but it's it's a, a process. My morning musings on Monday through Saturday are at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Sunday is the only time I do it at 1 p.m. Eastern time because I'm trying to... Uh, Get, get back to going to church on um, Sunday mornings. And so that's why we've uh, pushed the date, the time back a little um, up forward a little bit to 1 p.m. Uh, I also do the puzzle editions on Wednesdays and the weekends still for that. 
um, my P.O. box address. If you'd like to uh, send me, Dad Man Walking Fifty Five, or Angelo, my youngest, who is a Twitch streamer, uh, any anything, um, you can send it to our P.O. box address. Um, you can check out my info page on YouTube and Twitch. It has that information. That's how we got the Friends Friends um, Lego set from Be From O. They sent it to our P.O. box address. So they are like our uh, inaugural gift giver on. Uh, uh, if from our PO box. So that was kind of cool to do that. Um, also, you can support me on Kofi and Throne, Mrs. Dead Man Walking 55, no punctuation. Um, Kofi is a donation site since I am not monetized on uh, YouTube yet. Um, this is a way I can get donations to help with my, my streaming. Um, I do have enough money. I've got an idea of something I'm going to get. Um, I'm just looking in, uh, trying to figure out um, the, the best one to get. Also my, my throne is gifts. It's my wish list. You can go over there, check it out. There's other creators that have wish lists there. Um, and, uh, you can get me something cool. Uh, the Sakura house was a gift that was given to me through throne. And I tried to, on my, uh, builds to put the gifts, uh, builds priority, uh, so I have a lot of sets to do that I bought, um, but they're going to wait because anytime anybody gives me something, um, I feel that that's important to um, acknowledge it and build it because that's why they got it. They didn't get it for me just to keep it in the box and go, oh, yay. So I try to do those first. Um, but I do have a lot of uh, building, brick building sets on my throne. And if anybody ever gives me one of those, uh, I will make it a priority to build it um, on stream. Uh, these are some of the gifts that we have gotten. We've gotten three peeing bears. Yes, three peeing bears. We have done a men's restroom scene with them. It is hilarious. I've got Stonehenge. I've done Elizabeth Tower, uh, Starry Night, and two ghost shells from Destiny 2. Yes, it was an anonymous gift from the throne. Yes, um, it, it was. So these are just other gifts. You can look under my... Uh, playlists or collections under gift builds and they will all be there if you so desire to um, to watch them. Uh, I have my live streams and VODs, YouTube and Twitch. YouTube at Mrs. Man Walking 55 Twitch, Mrs. Man Walking, no punctuation, no numbers. And my Twitter schedule, or Twix as I like to call it, is at Man Walking. I try to put reminders when the streams are, are going to air and stuff like that. So uh, follow me on all those. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I think that that is all I have. Um, let me check the uh, the chat here real quick. Um, and this is to uh, Rennie. You are welcome. I'm so glad you saw the post. Would love to see you again here or my channel too. Please, if you don't mind, help us get the word out. And thank you for being here with us. Yes, thank you so much. Um, yes, thank you so much for that. Um, and Dadman says, Chucky, don't destroy yourself in one night. And, and, uh, uh T Atwood says, uh, got to tune in to find out. And, uh, thank you again, Rennie for that. And I believe, and just as we are saying goodbye, we have Delta Ray Studios K-A-L Colors stopping by. Good afternoon to you. Um, I am now getting ready to say my goodbyes. So check out my channel, Delta Ray. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. I will be doing a uh, morning musing streams, and I hope to see you there. On that note, I will say to you all, see you next time. And remember to show love, be kind, and that you're not promised tomorrow. So go to bed each night with no regrets. And most of all, I wish you peace. Bye, everybody.